We all know how to brush our teeth, right? How old are we when we learn to brush our teeth? Three, four, maybe five years old. Well, I've got some news for you. How we brush our teeth contributes massively to the fact that nine out of 10 adults over 30 have active gum disease. Wouldn't it be great if there was a technique for brushing our teeth that was scientifically proven to reduce the bacteria responsible for gum disease? Well, there is. Today we're going to cover the BAS brushing technique. It's the only brushing technique that is scientifically proven to disrupt, disorganize, and remove the bad bugs that cause gum disease from our mouths. So before we get into the technique, let's cover a few points about Dr. Bass. Dr. C.C. Bass is the guy who created the Bass brushing technique. And there's a couple of interesting notes about Dr. Bass I want to bring up that I think will help um, the understanding here. First of all, Dr. Bass was the youngest person to ever be assigned a dean position of a medical school. He was very into microbiology. He had a, a lab and a biology lab and a microscope. And he was actually the first person to carry a microscope west of the Mississippi River. So that kind of gives you a time frame of, of when Dr. Bass was a practicing physician. So he was a fairly young physician. He was diagnosed by his dentist with advanced gum disease called periodontal disease. And the suggested course of treatment from his dentist was to have all his teeth pulled. Of course, isn't that the answer? Well, being the type of person that he was, Dr. Bass wasn't satisfied with that, so he, he went back to his lab, and he was determined to find a technique to stop this periodontal disease. So what he did is he took samples out of his mouth, and he put it under his microscope, and he easily identified a number of the bacteria that we now recognize as what are called periodontic pathogenic bacteria, or gum disease-causing bacteria. We call them bad bugs for short. Okay? He identified a lot of these bad bugs. And so what he did was a trial and error experimentation where he would take a sample out of his mouth and, and look it under a scope, and then he would brush his teeth, and he'd take a sample from the same spot and look under the scope again and count the bacteria until he found a technique that significantly lowered the number of bacteria after he brushed his teeth. That's why it's scientifically proven. He figured it out. Okay. So here's a couple of his findings that he found. First of all, these bad bugs hang out along the gum line. So it's very important to brush along the gum line. And the second finding that he found very quickly in his experimentation is that toothbrushes weren't doing the job. They all had too many bristles in them and they just kind of mashed around on the teeth. So what he did is he took a toothbrush and he kept pulling bristles out and, and removing more and more bristles until he got a technique that would wiggle down into the gum line to disrupt and disorganize these bad bugs along the gum line and under the gum line, which is where they live and thrive and, and cause gum disease and create all the problems that they do. So what we have now from Dr. Bass are two things. First of all is the Bass toothbrush. This is the toothbrush that Dr. Bass designed based on his research in his own mouth to, to bring it down to a point, bring the bristle numbers down to a point that will actually wiggle down under the gum line instead of just mash around on the teeth themselves. So a couple of interesting features about the Bass toothbrush, it has very, very few or much fewer bristles than a, what would we call a common toothbrush or a regular toothbrush. And also the bristles have rounded tips. This is very important actually because a lot of toothbrushes out there have rough cut bristles and they'll actually etch and, and damage the teeth etch the enamel on the teeth and irritate the gums. Actually, one of the most common signs of, of gum disease is receding gums, and receding gums is definitely caused by the bad bugs that, that cause gum disease, but it's also caused from brushing the teeth too darn hard with these rough cut bristle toothbrushes. So the Bass toothbrush is a really cool design. It's got much fewer bristles to facilitate the use with the Bass brushing technique, as well as having rounded tips on each bristle tip is rounded, so it's much gentler on the gums. The second finding, or the second thing that we have from Dr. Bass is the brushing technique itself. All right, and I'll get into the specifics of the brushing technique in just a moment here. And the third, is we have, the third thing we have from Dr. Bass is his life as an example. You remember, his dentist diagnosed him with advanced gum disease or periodontal disease, and the course of treatment was to pull all his teeth, right? Well, history says that Dr. Bass died an old man with all his teeth still in his mouth. So that speaks very loudly to me. So let's get into the technique. A couple of points about it. First of all, the toothbrush needs to be angled toward the gum line. Now the gum line is where the teeth come up out of the gums, right? I don't mean to be silly here, but it's where the teeth come up out of the gums. So you're going right along the gum line there with the technique. 
and the technique is specific in that you're doing micro movements. You're not brushing over the teeth. You're just vibrating the toothbrush in place. So it's a very different brushing technique, which is why the cute kids in the beginning of this video can't do it. They don't have the, the fine motor control or the muscle control to be able to do the bass brushing technique, which is why we need to learn it as adults. And then while we're in position, we want to count to five in each position. So we like to do this bass brushing technique with a gentle, safe antimicrobial or antibacterial solution. Since you're getting the bristles of the brush down into and under the gum line a little bit, why not put a safe antimicrobial that's going to kill the bad bugs naturally as well? Okay, we use the Oral Wellness Brushing Blend for that because the Brushing Blend blend of organic botanicals does a fabulous job of safely and efficiently and effectively killing the bad bugs that cause gum disease without putting toxins in our mouth. So let's go over the technique. Incidentally, gum disease really hangs out along the gum line in the molars in particular, so really pay a lot of attention back into the molar area while you're using the technique. So that's the bass brushing technique. Angling it towards the gum line, micro movements. Wiggling it, vibrating it down into and along the gum line. Now, you can try this with a, a kind of a commercial toothbrush. Generally what I've found is it has much too many bristles um, in the toothbrush head to be able to wiggle down into the gum line and along the gum line like we're looking this technique is really looking to do. Excellent technique, it really helps uh, reduce and eliminate the bad bugs in our mouth that cause gum disease, helps you to control the bugs in your mouth and uh, will lower the incident of gum disease. Holler with any questions, we're here to help you take control of your oral health.